the differential form of the fundamental laws. Before we go further to discuss about this topic, I would like to explain about the coordinate system. We have two common coordinate systems and we will discuss both system of coordinate here in our uh, topic here. So the first coordinate is the Cartesian coordinate. So this is the very common coordinate. You already know about the Cartesian coordinates. And uh, the other coordinates that we need to know is the polar coordinates. So this is the Cartesian coordinate. A Cartesian coordinate system is a coordinate system that specifies each point uniquely in a plane by a pair of numerical coordinates which are the sine distance of the point from two fixed perpendicular directed lines measured in the same unit of length. Each reference line is called a coordinate axis or just axis of the system and the point where they meet is its origin and ordered pair 0, 0. The coordinate can also be defined as, as the position of the perpendicular projection of the points onto the two axes and sometimes three axes expressed as sine distance from the origin. So this is the example of uh, Cartesian coordinates. Uh, I think you already know about uh, this kind of uh, coordinates. So we have the, vertic the horizontal axis here and usually it will label as X axis and the vertical axis here and normally it is labeled as y axis and in some uh, question they will use a three axis so mean the this is the x axis this is the y axis and the z axis is the axis which is normal to the screen of your computer or normal to the paper here so to uh, write the location of points, so we will write according to the location of x, y, and z. For example, if we have, we only have two axes here. If we want to point a location at this point, so we will write as two comma three. So it means it's located at two unit at x axis and three unit at y axis here. So it can be negative side like this, and it will uh, we could have positive uh, value of coordinate like this. So let's say we have a, a motion of a molecule here. For example, we have one element. The coordinate is x1, y1, and then it moves to the new location, which the coordinate is x2, y2. So we could say that it moves with a certain velocity and we could write the velocity from point x1 y1 to the point x2 y2 here is the velocity of q and this velocity is the resultant velocity because if we discuss about the component velocity we could say this component this molecule have the component velocity of u which is the velocity parallel with x axis and the component velocity of v here which is the, velo the component velocity that uh, parallel with uh, y axis so to calculate uh, the resultant velocity we could use common trigonometry equation so we have square root for u square plus v square as shown here Now I would like to introduce you about polar coordinate system. In mathematics, the polar coordinate system is a two-dimensional coordinate system in which each point on a plane is determined by a distance from a reference point and an angle from a reference direction. The reference point, analogous to the origin of Cartesian coordinate system, is called the pole, and the ray from the pole is the reference direction is the polar axis. The distance from the pole is called the radial coordinate or radius and the angle is called the angular coordinate or polar angle or azimuth. 
So this is the example of polar coordinate. First, let's say we have one molecule here and it's travel in circle direction like this. So means this molecule keep rotate at its trail like this. So it is better for us to mention the coordinate of this molecule by using the polar coordinate. So to use polar coordinate, we will write polar coordinate with the distance of its radius and the angle of its location. So for example, if our point is here, so we could write the location of that point is r theta. If the radius is 5 meter and the angle here is 45 degree, we could say that the location of this point is equal to 1 meter and 45 degree. Then this molecule also have the component velocity because we have a radial direction here and the angle of theta here, we could have the component velocity of radial direction and we write as ur and the tangent of the velocity at this angle. So we call it the tangential velocity. So we write as u theta. And the resultant velocity, we could write it is equal to q here by using this equation and it is similar with the Cartesian coordinates so we have q is equal to square root u r square plus u theta square 